Three years after the fall of Muammar Gaddafi, Libya has slipped deeper into chaos. Armed militia split along regional, tribal and ideological lines, opposing the biggest challenge to the North African country. A weak central government and an unentrained army have been unable to exact control. Clashes around the airport, which is now closed, began on Sunday and involved rival militias fighting to secure the transport hub. According to medics, seven people, including two soldiers, were killed. Today, two soldiers got killed and a lot of national security planes got hit along with planes from different airlines. The customs hall was banned completely. Meanwhile, the United Nations mission in Libya withdrew its staff from the country because of the deteriorating security situation. And in Benghazi, forces loyal to renegade former general Halifa Hafter bombarded Islamist militia bases as part of his campaign to oust the militants. Western powers now fear disorder in Libya will allow arms and militants to flow across its borders. The south of the vast desert country has become a haven for Islamist militants kicked out of Mali by French forces earlier this year. Robert Nagela, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.